Hello everyone. I was sorting out my garage last weekend, well some of it, and um, I came across this box which was sealed up and I thought have I sealed that up and put it in the garage or could this be a vacuum cleaner I bought ages and ages ago and didn't open it. So I took a quick look and I think it is the latter. This is a vacuum. It's, you've certainly not seen this. I've not made a video of this. I've checked back on my channel. It's a Hoover Dustette for dustless dusting, it says. Made by Hoover Limited, Perivale, Greenford, Middlesex. Right, I think that's everything. Hmm, that's a... A wand for it. Right, the box can go. Chuck the box, pardon me for that, knocking the camera. Let's open up this box, which is the original box this duster would have been sold in. Complete with a handle to carry it home on the bus. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. We can see a picture of what I'm about to reveal to you, but whether it's all complete, I'm not sure. Yes, <laughs> I definitely haven't opened this. <laughs> That's the trouble with just buying vacuums and just throwing them in the garage. You, you miss some things. We've got the instruction book. This is model 2614. Instructions for the use and care of the Hoover, the new Hoover Dustet, Hoover Limited, Perivale, Middlesex, England. We can see the Hoover factory there. I've been inside that hallowed building when it was still property of Hoover. And here we have a lovely oldie worldy and oldie smelly, very vintage smelling black and white instruction leaflet. Is there a date? No, I can't remember when this cleaner was in the shops. It's, I think it could be 50s or early 60s. Inside here, crikey, they're original. So this is a dust set that takes dust bags. And we have two. The workmanship that's gone into those bags, I mean, really. It's even been sewn, look. It's gone through a sewing machine. Two of these. Look at the pleats, look at the pleats, folks. <laughs> crikey, that is very odd. Two genuine bags. Crikey, there's more bags. For model 2504 and 2614, which is what we have here. Just a different colour. Oh, the smell I'm, I'm getting. I'm going to smell these bags. Oh, that is a vintage smell. You'll only understand if you've smelt vintage things. Been thrown in, I'm afraid. Right. Yes, this is what I this is what I glanced at, and I thought, "Ooh, what's happened to that?" This is the shoulder strap. Now it's got some sort of white stuff on it. In the antique trade, I think they call that patina. But uh, in the vacuum trade, I don't want it. So hopefully. Hot soapy water will remove that white residue, whatever that is. Hopefully it'll uh, come off. Looks a bit manky, doesn't it? Next out, now this will match. And this has gone the same way as my constellation that's the same, got the same blue and the same blue tools. They go, this has gone sticky. But I did clean up that constellation after I showed you the video and all the stickiness came off and they cleaned up very, very well. So here is an early all-purpose brush. Metal, part metal bodied there, look. Metal, rubber, bristle, possibly even wood in there. <laughs> Several different materials have gone into making that vintage attachment. So there's that. We also have not bad nick, not bad nick at all. The dusting brush, not the dusting brush, that's a crevice tool. Roger, you've been doing this long enough, you should know your difference. Know the difference between a crevice and a dusting tool. That is for your crevices and your cracks. 
Again, it's the same as in my early constellation. So this will look very nice next to the constellation being the same colour. Um, another tool coming out of the box. And again, it's gone all sticky and ugh, yucky. But yeah, past experience, that will clean up nicely. Very soft brushes. Bristle, I expect. And again, part metal, part rubber. And with bristle brushes, very soft for dusting your pelmets and your blinds, etc. I'll pop the cleaner to one side because we've still got, oh, it's got the hose attached. Let's just see what else is in here. We have a little important, is this, oh, it's for the bags. Is this your last bag? Don't run out. Bags can be purchased at your Hoover dealer or your nearest Hoover office. That's a warning to us all. Never run out of bags. We've even got, look, it's a bit squashed. Or is it? I think that should be, yes. Oops, I've ripped it. Oh well, I have to leave it as it is. That, <laughs> you can even hang that up on the wall. That will hold the tools, I suspect. Um, not sure which way the tools go in. That must be for your crevice. And once that's all wrapped up again nicely, coiled up, let's see if I can, ooh, it's, bits are falling off. I'm sure it'll clean up very well. Anyway, I'm sure when that is wound up correctly, I suspect that will fit inside there. I wonder if it shows in the instruction book, that's how they go. Don't know if it does. No, it doesn't show. A bit of vintage cardboard. I don't know how vintage, well, that's a very vintage elastic band there. Wow, look at this bit of vintage. Ironmongers. Cyrus Lang, L-A-I-N-G, Cyrus Lang, Ironmongers, Aberdeen. Any of you from Aberdeen remember Cyrus Lang and his ironmonger shop? I wonder if he sold a few hoovers on the side of his ironmongery business. But, so that needs a bit of a vacking out, but it'll be fine. I'm going to keep that in the memory of Cyrus Lang. We can, um, I'm going to take the hose off this Hoover Dustet. I don't know why it was sent without the hose attached, with the hose attached. This is an old one, isn't it? Look at this. This is an old hose because it's the braided type. Look at that. Lovely vintage, very flexible. Whether it's still airtight or not after all these years, I'm not sure. No need for suction control on the dust set. That This isn't bad at all. Really in pretty good condition and considering I'd completely forgotten about it. <laughs> how did I, I don't know how I managed to miss this one, really. That's very nice condition. Got the uh, slide switch on off I'll have a look at the rating plate in a minute it's a metal plate lovely blue bag look at that Hoover it's a bit hard to see dust it nice logo there and it's got a big zip on it to access the paper bag inside let's see if it'll oh is it going to Mm. It's not going to open. Oh, oh, you dirty dust it. The perils of opening a vintage vacuum cleaner. This dust it has just done a big dirty all over my new jeans. Ugh. Fortunately, I have a mealer at hand to clean up this mess. And uh, looks like there's a bit of mess inside there. I've got to clean out as well. <laughs> Well, 
that's quite banged up as would happen with these old dust sets because these are metal fan cleaners be very hard to show you but trust me just here behind this short piece of metal is a metal fan that spins at high speed let's have a look at the rating plate here this is hoover model 2504 slash 2614 225 to 250 volts dc ac 0 to 60 140 watts rating 9 the serial number is ma 25981 made by hoover limited great britain I think the different model numbers on the rating plate denote the different versions of this machine. So I believe that model 2504 was the standard dust set without the additional cleaning tools. And the model I've got here is 2614 that contains all the tools I've shown you. Right, so that's uh, very nice. It's got the original, bit dirty, but that is a dark blue original ribbed cable let's just check it's okay it's very flexible still there's no damage to it this is a very nice example oh dear this is an old vacuum so wow wowza this is old look at that this is a molded on hoover plug that ain't gonna fit my outlet, I can assure you. I had no idea. Now, obviously I will. It's sacrilegious to remove the plug. And I'm wondering, I've never seen a plug like that before in real life. This was before it was all standardized, the electrical system in the UK with the three pin plugs. Look, that's, so that's how old this is. So, um, Yes, I'll continue. I'll turn this on in a, an, on another day because it's uh, time's getting on and I need to do some tidying up at home. So I'll um, take that plug off. I'll try and remove it. I just, just I don't want to just cut it off. I expect there's a way of um, removing these screws and taking that plug off. So I will show you this going in the video, but it'll be recorded at a later date. Wow, I did not expect that. So you'll see this in a moment. A bit more cleaned up and with a plug on and we can test it out after doing some research I think this Hoover Dustette is from around 1960 this is an early version 2614 and it's early because it's got the braided hose as you saw earlier in the video this is the original hose but it was soon replaced for the more familiar Hoover Flex double stretch hose in this blue color so it would have been the blue color so this is in lovely condition as you can see the cleaner itself is in even lovelier condition after I gave it a clean I had to do a bit more than a external polish for this but um, I'll explain what I did in the video so this is being cleaned up though I mean a bit of a shine now to the metal clip here that holds the tools so there we go lovely jubbly and uh, didn't have to do much with this this was a little bit of tea cutting followed by a couple of coats of polish car polish so that's the metal crevice tool and we have again this looks almost new after a bit of a clean so this is the dusting brush with nat natural bristle brushes is it or horsehair I'm not sure but it is a natural it's not a synthetic brush much softer than the later synthetic ones and uh, as you can see it's it's lovely and clean I took it apart cleaned it and then it's had a bit of a, a polish as well look at that lovely blue I love this blue color it's very nice again the wand the wand isn't you know the wand itself is lovely but there's a little bit of rust here to stay on the metal clip couldn't really do much about that we've got the little original box now this had the white residue I don't know what happened to it but it's it's marked it's given this carry strap a mottled appearance there's nothing I could do about it but it is all clean and shiny 
and supple so that can be used I can actually fit that to the dustette and use it over my shoulder so there's nothing else to show you apart from the cleaner obviously we've got the still got the instruction book and the original box I've got all the spare bags here I've fitted a modern bag to this machine so the original ribbed cable that's just been given a clean it's, again it's the lovely blue color been given a clean and a bit of a wipe with some sort of rubber plastic protectant doobery thing armor all wipe I've, I've just got I just wiped over so that's lovely and clean now I did wash the bag of this Hoover dust I'll take the bag off it was hand washed because I couldn't open the zip the zip was seized and it is still a bit stiff I do have some I can't remember what it's called but it's like a dry lubricant I've used it on zips before I didn't you know you be careful with it I wouldn't spray it all over just very carefully spray it on the zip try not to get it on the fabric but it is a clear substance and it, uh, if even if you get a bit on the fabric it should be okay but I haven't done that yet but the zip does does open so I might leave it actually it's it's eased up even more so here is the sort of bojack I've done rather expensive way of doing it but this is a SIBO bag that I've cut I don't know if it was a genuine SIBO bag there are pre plenty of other bags you can cut but this is going to be considerably better filtration than the paper bags supplied with this cleaner so I've got um, cleaned all this up the metal bag fill tube underneath here and the uh, the metal sort of spring that holds the bag in place so that's a nice fit you can see inside there it's all all lovely and clean and even though I did wash the bag it still has the vintage pong I washed it in some very some gentle and um, eco-friendly non-perfumed liquid detergent you see it is yeah I'm gonna it is a bit stiff this sip I think I will get my spray on it at some point well before I put this away into storage right I'll do that off camera but the zip is still a little bit stiff but at least I could open it and um, we can see it's got the old Hoover dustette or if you're watching from USA this cleaner was called well it was called I think you got the dustette but um, it was also called the pixie so here's the cleaner itself again this is a lovely color this is more reminiscent of late 50s color to me but it is this could I think it is very early 60s this cleaner we've got the all-purpose brush fitted and this never came with an all-purpose nozzle just had the brush I don't know if I've ever seen a blue all-purpose nozzle I might have this one again I separated the natural brush from the sort of rubber part there is a little blue mark on it that wouldn't come off but it took me well, still a few bits but it took me quite a while to get all the fluff from the brushes so that's lovely and clean now regarding the machine itself if you remember if you've already forgotten I, I pity you because it wasn't long ago it was a long time ago for me because this is the second half of video <laughs> I did record the first half quite a while ago last year anyway it was quite clogged up and it was very very clogged I wish I'd made a film of it or took some photos I didn't expect it to be so clogged it was absolutely packed with dirt it was like solid so I did have to take the cleaner apart I had to take the front nozzle off um, the handle had to come off I had to release the motor as well in order to clean it properly I tried doing it without taking the motor out but there was no way it was it was packed hard around that's one of the failings of this cleaner because you know it goes through the fan the metal fan and there's not much space between the the outer casing and the motor for the dirt to go through so it would very easily block up this was definitely the worst one I've seen uh, regarding blockages the fan now this vibrates it does run nicely but it does vibrate a bit the fan one of the fan blades is chipped so it really needs a new fan if I can buy a new fan I would get a new fan I haven't found one yet uh, it's more likely I could get a more beaten up dustette and hope that the fan inside is intact but it still works it's still a nice quiet sounding cleaner um, so it's all been taken apart 
So we're now ready to switch on this lovely vintage Hoover Dustette. So for a cleaner made probably in the very early 60s, that's not bad at all. She looks very good. So we can uh, attach the all-purpose brush to the machine. We can do our upholstery with this if we want to. We can do our curtains. And of course, we can also attach if we want to reach up a bit higher, especially if we've got very long curtains and high ceilings. We can pop the wand directly on. We can pop the crevice tool. Yes, they even had cobwebs in the corner of rooms. Back in the 60s, you could use the dustette to reach up high. This is what people had before the days of cordless cleaners. And this, <laughs> this is still working. I don't suppose cordless cleaners you can buy today will be working. I'll be long gone, of course. But uh, if YouTube still exists, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people showing vintage machines that uh, we can buy in the shops now and they'll be, be showing them like I'm showing this stuff set. They'll be saying, oh, look, look at this old machine. It's amazing. This still works, but it's probably been kept in the box. <laughs> if it's a machine you can buy today, certainly a cordless one, the batteries wouldn't be working, would they? One word of caution, I have, I have sort of briefly touched on this in other dust step videos. In fact, I've, there's less dust step videos on my channel than I thought. There is some more coming up. I think I've got a triple dust step unboxing that I've just got to finish off. You'll be seeing that at some point. Um, but I have got more dust, dust steps than I've shown, quite a, uh, quite a lot more, because I'm fond of this little machine. So I have um, touched on a point where gentlemen have been quite harmed with the Hoover dust step. Now, if this cleaner is used as it's intended to be used for removing dust and dirt from around the home, in your car, etc., dry dust and dirt, it's fine, perfectly adequate for that. Or your above floor cleaning, an excellent accompaniment to your Hoover upright, easier than attaching the cleaning tools. But if you're a gentleman and think that the Hoover dust deck can be used in another way, please don't. Because <laughs> if I take off the tube, there we go. Because there is a metal fan, a high-speed metal fan, just just here. In fact, if I, if you had very long fingers, you might be able to touch it. But it is, hmm, it's a high-speed metal fan. That's all I'm saying. There has been reports. You can go online and have a look of of gentlemen using the dust step for a purpose it wasn't meant for and getting a shocking surprise. But if they had this model and attached the hose, then it would have been a far safer thing to do. Although still, it's not. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know what I'm talking about, folks. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're very, very innocent or too young to know what I'm talking about. So anyway, the hose obviously is a marvelous thing to have with the dust set because unlike a, a cordless cleaner, like a Dyson where you have to hold the button on, we can just turn the dust set, turn the dust set on and then direct the hose. So for the car, especially, I can just picture gentlemen of the period using the dust set to clean their car out. The only time they probably ever touched a vacuum cleaner back in the day it was a foreign object to many men, but when it came to keeping their car spick and span, they'd be quite happy to use wifey's dustette, and take it out to the car, because that's, as I said, <laughs> back in the day, that was the only time a man would be seen holding a vacuum, unless he was a, a bachelor and had to do his own cleaning, or he lived with his mother, um, the wife normally would do the cleaning, historically. Now, of course, we see men in vacuum cleaner um, TV commercials and in advertisements and we see men <coughs> like myself showing you old vacuum cleaners but uh, it is mainly men that like the older technology isn't it uh, there are a few ladies that follow my channel because they like the old cleaners 
but uh, it is generally a male pastime to tinker with vintage stuff, you know, gives them something to do in their shed so they don't have to talk to their wife. Let's see if we can attach the uh, doobly. Never really sure how this fits. I know it fits. You can see there's a little um, slot. Oh, by the way, no suppressor in this. I didn't have to remove the suppressor because there isn't one. In the earlier versions and Model 100 and the earlier versions of this, no suppressor was fitted. And on the earlier versions, the suppressor is attached to the on-off switch. It's some, somewhere in the handle here. On the later metal bodied versions, now I've got a mustard colored one, which was the last metal bodied version, that the suppressor in that blue, and the suppressor in that wasn't in the handle. I had to take that all apart. It was tucked away inside the motor for that model. I have taken it out, um, but I haven't had the courage to turn it on again because I had to really strip that down. So I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and do that. But no, there was, there's no suppressor problems with this. There isn't one. You could retrofit it if, if it came into service. Um, a suppressor could be fitted to machines that didn't have them. But originally, no suppressor. Um, oh yes, so we've got the, uh, the strap here. I know we have to pass it through the slot on the handle. Is it going to go in? Yes, there we are. I think that's it. Is that it? Sort of. Well, yeah, it, it does hold it, look. And then you can just adjust it, you know, depending how tall or short you are, you can just loosen it, pull, pull a bit more through like so. And then you can just pop it on your shoulder. So I've got both hands free, one to direct the nozzle and if I'm a bit elderly or infirm, I can hold onto the banister with the other hand and switch on the dustette. <laughs> and clean the stairs. This style of dustette with a metal body was produced into the 80s and you'll see the last metal bodied dustette as I mentioned on my channel, the sort of yellow color. I'll put a link in the video somewhere for you to see that. And that was the last one. It was more or less the same. The bag was slightly changed, um, but really the handle a bit, bit more comfortable to hold. A few minor changes, but it was basically the same cleaner. And in 84, who've produced an all plastic dustette made in Hong Kong and you'll see that on my channel as well. That was the first plastic bodied dustette and it ran for a few years and it, it became a grey colour. So for the later bodied dustettes, the plastic bodied dustettes, we've got these cleaning tools I recently bought on eBay and they're model S1914. So I will show you how Hoover changed the tools over the years. So this is the very last set of cleaning tools, as far as I know, that you could buy to fit a Hoover dustette. And with this cleaner, I'm showing you in the video, because it's an early version with the braided hose, I think this is the first cleaning tool set you could get for the dustette. So let's have a look at the differences. So in this box, we have the complete tool set, and we can see it's an all plastic affair. We've got a plastic wand with the locking ring system. So Hoover tools still use the pip fitting, but to secure them, you now twist the lock ring. And here, of course, we've got the original, bit longer, made of metal with a metal clip. About the same weight. And I think they should, they should fit together. <laughs> yes, they do. Old and new combined. So that's the obvious thing they've done. Everything is now plastic from the 80s. We have this very long running design Hoover crevice tool. Very, very different to the original. This one's much longer. It has a, a pointed end, which is better for getting into the nooks and crannies than this flat end. And of course, this one is made of metal where we have plastic for the new one. Now here is a dusting brush that you can see they are almost the same in looks apart from this is black. But look, look at that design again. This is a dusting brush that ran for many, many years. So it's amazing, isn't it? How little some things have changed 
they still do the same job. Again, all these, I'm gonna fit this, this hose, again, this is the last item you get with the modern dust depth toolkit, all plastic, no suction control, no need to control suction on a dust depth. It's pretty poor to start with. It is the stretch hose, much more modern, of course, and pretty sure we should be able to fit. Yes, <laughs> old and new combined, we can fit the old cleaner with the new hose. It still works the same. And if I was to go and get a plastic bodied dustette, I'm sure this original braided hose would fit that as well. Unlike some manufacturers who change the models and also change the tool fitting, I won't mention any names. I'm sure you know which manufacturer I'm referring to. So at least with Hoover, you could upgrade your Hoover cleaner and still use the tools if you had an older machine and you wanted a dustette to go with it and you had a toolkit with your older cleaner, like if you had a Hoover Senior with two wands, you couldn't fit the hose to it, but the wands and all the other nozzles would fit to the dust deck just fine, no problems. Okay, enough waffle from me. Let's get the dust deck in action now. Put some dust down and um, see how this old machine from around 1960 copes with a modern home. Well folks, that's the end of today's overly long video on the Hoover Dustette for dustless dusting. I've certainly had a gay old time using this machine and I'm using that word in the old fashioned sense, but I'm sure if I was a 60s housewife, I would certainly be having a gay old time using this Hoover Dustette to clean all my home. Well, all the above floor cleaning, all my nooks and crannies, everything that my big Hoover Senior can't cope with, I'd grab my lovely little dustette. And then once a week, I'd allow my husband to use my dustette to clean the interior of his precious Morris Minor. 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the Hoover Dustette as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, and why not? But if you don't, please do so. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads, which will include vintage machines such as the Hoover Dustette, as well as modern floor care appliances. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.